Hi, I'm Jackie Grant, recipe developer for Seedsman Global Kitchen, where I focus on making food creations using cannabis. Now, I'm gonna be using a recipe that will ensure that this dish, though, is fragrant and spicy, and if you're cooking it over a grill, it's gonna be wonderfully smoky, too. I'm making a jerk chicken pie with Seedsman's Northern Lights because not only does it give you a happy feeling, but it's spicy as well, in a gentle way, which is perfect for this dish. This recipe is gonna give you six servings with approximately 14 milligrams of THC in each portion. Now for the ingredient list. So we've got leeks, we've got carrots, we've got Romano sweet pepper, we've got sweet potato, and we've got double cream. Then the spices, which I'm gonna blend all together at the end, it's Jamaican curry powder, we've got thyme, we've got chili flakes, fennel, five spice, which is fantastic, and then we've got garlic and also ginger. And then we've got Seasons Northern Light, so what I've got here is the jerk chicken that's already been marinated. I left it in the fridge for a couple of hours and I used a really good quality jerk paste that I just bought from the store. What I'm gonna do now though, is I'm going to grill it at a sort of medium high heat for a few minutes on each side. Yeah, so just a little bit of a note on the chicken and how long you cook it for. You know, some people are gonna cook it for a couple of minutes if you're doing it on an open grill outside. Of course, this can take sort of 30, 40 minutes. But in here, we're not only cooking it on the grill, we're also gonna be putting it with the, in the pots uh, while it's cooking with the other mixtures and then after that into the oven. So you don't have to go too crazy on it at this point. You don't wanna kind of dry it out or anything. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the chicken from here. I'm gonna stick it onto the plates. And then when it's cooled down a little bit, I'm gonna cut them into sort of dice shaped. So we're gonna add the leeks. And they'll cook down a bit. I'm gonna leave those for five minutes on a low heat. Now I'm gonna add the peppers, along with the carrots. So while this is cooking, just a quick note on the pastry. My advice really is to go out and buy yourself a pre-rolled pastry. Puff pastry is the best, but you can use another type of pastry if you wish. I made my pastry with uh, turmeric, and I also made a quick flaky pastry, that's what I call it. So if you need more information on that particular pastry type, then you can find it at Seedsman's blog, at blog.seedsman.com, where I explain you know, how to put it together. So as you can see, it's looking really nice now. It's all really nicely blended together and actually you're not in my kitchen, but it's a wonderful, wonderful smell uh, coming off just this fresh veg actually. But it is time to add all the spices that I've combined together in this plate. So I'm gonna put them all in now. Actually then come and use a spoon to finish off. Here we go. That's really smelling lovely, really like it. And in a moment, when that's all done, I'm gonna actually add the sort of slightly pre-cooked sweet potato. That's a nice, yeah. So here we go, Put the sweet potato in. It's looking lovely. And I think that's quite nicely combined. That is lovely, very proud of my filling for my jerk chicken. So here we go, now I'm gonna add the double cream in. As you can see, look, it's just changing the color of the dish. Look at that, all those nice fragrance, lively colors. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn the heat down a bit and leave that to all blend in nicely together before I add the jerk chicken. I'm going to add it to the dish. So as you can see, the chicken's still raw inside, but that's okay, because the idea is to add it to this pot, to blend it with those flavors, and that to cook up properly for a good 10 minutes. So I'm just gonna add in the can of butter and really let it combine. So I've let my mixture to go into the pastry case cool down sufficiently. So here we are just putting it in. Again that really gorgeous smell, it smells lovely. I want to eat it now really. And as soon as that's in, we're going to pop on the pastry case. And then we're going to stick the lid on. It doesn't matter if it doesn't fit perfectly, you know, you can take bits from here and add bits there, and when it comes out of the oven, it still looks perfect. Right, so as soon as you're happy with your seal, all you have to do is give it all a little bit of egg wash. 
You don't have to give it too much, you're just trying to add a touch of colour and for it to be nice golden brown when it's finished cooking. There we go, we are now done and this is going to go into the oven at 170 degrees for about 30 minutes. So here we are, lovely pie. So it's time for the tasting and I'm really looking forward to it on this dish. I just love all Jamaican food, so let's give it a try and see what it tastes like. Oh, look at that. And a nice sort of flaky, crunchy pastry as well. So here we go, let's give it a try. Let's go for it. There we go. Oh, I just love it already. That is really delicious. You know what really comes through? That I wasn't expecting so much because I used a bit of, I uh, used coconut um, oil for part of the can of butter. And it's just a beautiful taste that runs through it. The fact that the coconut flavoring that comes off it truly blends with the other flavors. And I, can't, I wasn't really expecting it to be like that. And it's truly gorgeous. It's a wonderful dish that I hope you try to make yourself at home. I know it's got a lot of ingredients, but it's really easy once they're all combined. Bon appétit. See you next time.